Okay. There we go. Try again. So whatever you do, don't do your British accent. What accent are you referring to, love? That. Don't do that. Whatever you're talking about. Look, we have a show to do. All right. Okay. Okay. Then it's time for another edition of your, your nightly news. news. Welcome to the seventh edition of the Nightly News with stories on Scholastic Bowl and boys basketball. I'm Dante. And I'm Mallory. There are three time regional champs and in Sweet 16 again. Let's take a look at boys basketball. Two years ago, basketball was only in New York, New York. For 27 years, boys have been playing basketball here at Brooklyn High School. We're going to talk to a few coaches and some players to see how the seasons are going so far. How are the boys doing so far? Uh, the boys are 11 and 3. Uh, ran 3 0 in the conference. Playing really well. Uh, the three losses were against really tough teams Rockford, Lutheran, Kiwani, and Winnebago. So, And we had a chance to set the buzzer to, to beat Winnebago, but uh, the shot didn't fall. Who is or was the hardest team to go up against this season? That's a tough one. All three really good teams. Uh, I think probably Rockford, Lutheran. They were really quick and energetic and uh, all the players shot the ball really well, so uh, I'm going to have to say Rockford losing, but uh, I think we can beat any team on a game. How do you keep your team motivated? I think that motiva motivation needs to be positive. I believe in not only trying to promote them to be excellent, but I think that it is important to just keep an end goal in mind and keep trying to get better every day. Because I think that if you get yourself too worked up in trying to be perfect, that you end up probably feeling too bad about yourself. So I think just getting better every day is the most important thing. How are the boys doing? Uh, JV team has a winning record. Um, and like I mentioned before, they, they get better every night. And so that's been really positive for me. I like watching them develop. Uh, at our level, we want to see them get to a point where they are ready to move on and be productive varsity players. And so I think that right now, all the young men on the team right now are doing a great job. What is your position and how long have you played? Um, I am a guard slash forward and I've been playing since around like kindergarten. Is there anything you do before a game that you think helps you? Um, I listen to pump up music and stretch. How do you feel the season has gone? Um, it's been a pretty good season so far. Um, you know, we fell short in a couple games that were close, and, you know, we probably should have came out on top, but stuff happens. What advice would you give someone who wants to play? Um, work as hard as you can, play good defense, and rebound. Good luck to the boys on the rest of their season. For the nightly news, I'm Haley, and I'm here. Good luck in the sectional final against Sterling Newman. So, where did Darwin conduct his research? The Galapagos Islands. Let's look at Scholastic Bowl. With the start of the second semester comes the start of the Scholastic Bowl season. Let's get to know some of the teammates. I'm here with Rachel Schmidt from the Scholastic Bowl team. So, how do you think the season's going so far, Rachel? Overall, I mean, I think it's going pretty good. We've won some, lost some, but I mean, it's what to be expected. And how long have you been in Scholastic Bowl? I have only been in Scottsdale at high school for two years, my sophomore and junior year. And do you think it's a good thing to get into? I definitely think it is. There's a ton of stuff that you don't know and you can learn and it feels good when you do know things. Yeah. Hi, I'm Logan and I'm here with Payne from the Scholastic Bowl team. How do you feel you're going to place this year? 
I definitely think that we have a lot of potential. We gained a lot of very smart people this year, and I can see us going pretty far. What is your favorite subject to score about? Um, I'm definitely more of a history guy, and I normally buzz in on the political questions. How many years have you been doing Scholastic Bowl? Um, I started last year, and I really never thought that it'd be something that I'd like, but I ended up really loving it. Yeah. So, who is the highest scorer on the Scholastic Bowl team? Well, we all put our full, fair share into it, but I definitely say Dante, and we're all very appreciative of that. I hear Dante from the Scholastic Bowl team. How is this Scholastic Bowl season going so far? It's going pretty good. We just had a match against Tri Valley in Hayworth last Thursday. And we won one match and lost another. But it's overall, it's a pretty good season. What is your favorite category of questions? Um, I normally buzz in for fine arts questions like books, plays, poems, shows. So what is this class full currently studying for? Uh, right now we're practicing for our home meet, which happens at the high school, um, where teachers and students help moderate and keep time for matches. And after that, February is like our busy season. What is your favorite category of question that you've ever been asked? Um, cakes in video games? That sounds like my Saturday night. Thank you for doing this interview with us. Now we've gotten to know our Scholastic Bowl team. Who do you think is the smartest person on the team? I definitely have to say the tall, slim, handsome fellow with the glasses. I think he goes by the name Peyton. Dang, sounds like such a stud, you ladies out there. For the Nightly News, I'm Peyton. And I'm Logan. So, time to finish our regular programming. Regular programming. So we'll see you soon with another edition of Your, Your Nightly, Nightly News. News.